In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of a Sony receiver. Now, in the past, in my home theater PC and home theater setups, I've used a full-on receiver that you can pretty much plug everything into. In this case, I went with a smaller receiver, pretty much because I want to route everything through the television set and just route the receiver to the speakers. So in this video, we're going to do an unboxing of my brand new, or at least brand new to me, Sony receiver that I got off of eBay for about $130 shipped. So let's get to it. trusty cutter here and open this thing up. Like I said, I got this off of eBay because I figured I spent enough on my home theater PC setup and my home theater setup with my brand new TV that I really wanted to be economical with my receiver. I have two receivers in the house, but none of them have 3D pass-through like this device does. So I got this on eBay, like I mentioned, for about $130 shipped. And now it's just the receiver and not speakers. I have enough speakers in the house and they're good quality. So let's get this thing open. It looks like it's packed pretty well. And you can see it right here out of the gate. This is what it looks like. Let's get some of this styrofoam out of here. It actually looks like this is the original box turned inside out, which is interesting. And here's the receiver itself. And this is what the front looks like. It's a 5.1 home theater system. In my attic, I have a 7.1 system. And in my living room, I have a 5.1 system. So this will work out perfectly. It's a total output power of 1,000 watts. It has three HDMI inputs. And it actually has an iPod dock that you can actually dock your iPod into or iPhone and play music directly into this. And again, like I said, it's 3D compatible. It has sort of a uh, glossy plastic up front here. Your power button's down on this side here. It's sort of a lip that comes out here. Uh, there is a sound field button here and an input down and up button. And then of course your volume control there. So very basic on this device. Like I said, I really wanted to go basic with this as opposed to my other receivers where you have all the different inputs and uh, it's you know, probably about two or three times as thick as this receiver here. Up top here, metal construction. You have your venting up top here. On the side, pretty much nothing. On this side, you have nothing. And let's check out the back. On the back, you have all of your speaker outputs here. And you need a proprietary plug for that. You have some optical ins here. You have two optical ins. You have a coax video in, you have your line in, which is your basic analog audio. Over here you have an auto calibration mic where you plug the mic into where it calibrates your speakers. You have a coaxial antenna in, you have a DM port here, and then you have your three HDMI inputs and one HDMI output. Let's see what else is in the box here. I believe it does come with a remote control. And here is some of the documentation in here, kind of crumpled up. Again, this is used and I expect it to be used. If I wanted something shiny and brand new, I would have bought something shiny and brand new. But as long as this works, that's all I care. Here is the iPod and iPhone dock. Um, don't know really if I'll be using it. I do have an iPod, so maybe I will use it at some point. But I generally just use that in my car and I don't actually pull it out of my car unless I'm loading it up with podcasts. So we'll see how that works. Here is the remote control for the receiver here. And let's see if it actually comes with batteries. Yes, it does. And here is the mic. Now this mic you plug into the receiver itself and it will do a test on all your speakers and it will automatically calibrate your receiver. I have that on one of my other receivers. Let's see what else is in the box here. We have the antenna for 
the uh, radio on there, and there's some more documentation down here. A little bit crumpled up. And let's see what else. I think the rest is probably just packaging. Now, as I showed you on the back of this receiver, it has proprietary speaker outputs on it. Now, they're actually plugs that are on the end of regular speaker wire. So, kind of a pain in the butt, but I had to pick some of those up off of eBay, and the cheapest I found was 20 bucks. So, the total on this shipped was about $150 to get this receiver. Probably about $100 less than getting just a regular uh, receiver that I'm used to getting. Probably could have gotten one for about $250. But here's the speaker wire, and it looks like it's pretty long speaker wire. And as you see on the ends are the proprietary connectors, and they're all color-coded. Now, just in case any of you guys were wondering, the model number on the speaker is AV Receiver STRKS380. So that pretty much does it for this video. Now I can hook this thing up and have 5.1 sound coming out of my brand new home theater PC and home theater setup. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.